Hello everyone, welcome to part 174 of Laravel 9 tutorial in which we are working on the multi vendor e commerce website and we are working on the vendor commissions feature. Okay, so in this video, we are going to calculate the commission paid by the vendors to the website owners when the orders come to the vendor. Okay, so we are going to handle the simple case in this video. Okay, in which there is one order item and that belongs to some particular vendor okay and the owner uh, is charging uh, some commission from the vendor some uh, so we are going to take one particular case see there are more videos will come on this we also need to uh, uh, take care of the uh, coupon okay uh, the discount that uh, the uh, vendor give to the users via coupon so that also we are going to handle but uh, in this video we are going to handle the simple case uh, so i want to tell you that in the last video we able to set commission paid by the vendors to the website owners uh, here we have added that uh, uh, that column in the view vendor details the admin can able to update the commission percent of any vendor here you can see like we have updated the commission of john sing to the two percent in this way the vendor can able to set the commission for all vendor like for sanjay he can set the commission of five percent okay and uh here you can see the five percent is set and for other vendors as well uh like uh, for amit gupta this one test two four two five uh, we are going to set the commission of two percent okay so uh now uh, we are going to calculate uh its commission once the order comes to this vendor so i'm going to check that whether i'm going to log in with this vendor okay so that i can check that this vendor is having some orders or not so i'm going to log in with this vendor so let's log in otherwise i'm going to place order one two three four five six and i'm going to see whether this vendor is having some orders or not and yes this vendor is having the two orders here uh, maybe uh, the multiple I order with the multiple item or the single item we are considering the sing single item this time see i'm going to open one of the order item here okay so this one is having the single item okay so i'm going to check that how much uh, commission he needs to pay for this order item and uh, we are going to show here the price as well also along with the price we're going to show the commission as well okay so that we are going to calculate here so first of all uh, we will create one function in our uh, admin or vendor model uh, okay so that function uh, i'm going to close the earlier files first of all okay so we are going to add the function in uh, vendor model uh, this one okay so here uh, we are going to check for the vendor commission that how much commission the vendor is required to pay okay get vendor commission here we are going to pass the vendor id get vendor commission i'm going to select the commission here ID dollar vendor ID first QL return dollar get vendor commission and here the commission will come okay so this one we're going to return uh, we can either use the two array or you can simply use the object here okay uh, because we are not going to use any array function here so it is not required so uh, now we are going to update in the order details in admin uh, admin orders okay here it is fine yeah okay so here we are going to update uh, uh, 
uh, first of all uh, we are going to add here that model vendor model okay after adding the vendor model we are going to get the uh, vendor commission as well from the vendor model so uh, we are having uh, the vendor id we are going to check here auth guard admin here is the column under id column so we are going to check with that user vendor id okay so vendor get vendor commission it seems to be fine okay so now uh, we have the get vendor we are going to check once that the commission is coming here correctly uh, let's refresh and uh, we are going to check yes two uh, is coming here uh, we can uh, put here die as well to check whether we able to get the vendor commission here you are getting okay so that's working fine okay so now uh, here uh, we will come down uh, to the products here okay so here we are going to add the commission field as well okay so uh, we will also add the product price field uh, the product price uh, that the uh, uh, that we can add product name size color quantity uh, before quantity we can add here the product price and here uh, we can add okay so after product price there is product quantity uh, here we will also calculate the total first of all total amount uh, because uh, uh, we are going to calculate its uh, commission uh, by the multiply by the product quantity okay so uh, we are going to add here uh, here we will add the unit price uh, and here we will add the total price total price and after quantity here we are going to add product price into quantity product quantity okay so here uh, it will be shown like this also uh, we can reduce uh, like uh, uh, here we can do like code name so that more space we will get okay fine uh, so now uh, we can also add one more column here after total price we will add the commission column okay commission and uh, this commission uh, we are going to calculate this commission uh, but also uh, we will add this in one variable as well total price like total price of the product here uh, and uh, here we are going to add one more field td so we are going to calculate uh, the commission here uh, that is the total price into get vendor commission divided by 100 okay so that we are going to calculate here okay so total price see we are going to calculate the commission it is simple here uh, see whatever the total price uh, of the item okay uh, like uh, suppose if the total uh, price of the item is 1000 and commission is 2% uh, 
then we are going to calculate that how much uh, uh, how much fees the vendor is going to uh, pay how much commission the vendor is going to pay that we are going to calculate like this 1000 into 2% okay what it is 1000 into 2 divided by 100 okay 2% what is the 2% 2 divided by 100 okay so simply we are going to calculate it like this uh, see it will be see here it will be equal to 20 so 20 is the commission that the vendor is required to pay for this order item okay so the same thing we are going to do here total price into uh, total price uh, total price into get uh, that uh, commission uh, this one get vendor commission uh, okay and uh, see get vendor commission into uh, what what it is it is it is two percent okay get vendor commission it is uh, first see first is total price into get vendor commission uh, divided by divided by hundred okay so this is uh, we are go we are going to get the uh, commission okay so let's see I'm going to refresh here and see commission is coming as the 20 okay so here we will also round off sometimes it will show the decimal value so we are going to round off as well okay up to two we can round off up to, up to two decimal okay like this so uh, we will also show here uh, the amount that the vendor will get amount paid like the amount paid or uh, see amount paid is the correct status okay we can have this one amount paid or the amount the vendor will get total amount we can uh, add here amount paid amount paid, or amount paid that the uh, vendor will get or what word we can add here vendor amount uh, vendor amount also anything uh, we can write here vendor amount like this we can also add it like this mm, okay so that we are going to show here like vendor amount how much vendor amount here the vendor will get here we are going to simply uh, reduce this amount to from total price we will also put it in that like commission we're going to do it like this and this commission total price minus commi uh, minus commission so let's see amount that will come as the vendor amount vendor amount we, he will get 980 okay total price is 1000 commission 20 amount uh, that the vendor is going to get that is the 980 so make sure that we are go not going to show these fields like these fields we are not going to show uh, these two fields mainly uh, that we are not going to show the admin uh, these fields we will just show to the vendor okay so we can add one condition here uh, like uh, these commission and vendor amount fields uh, we will just show to the vendor so we are going to add here condition auth guard admin user type if equal to equal to vendor okay so this one okay here vendor we are going to show this one uh, also we will uh, pick this one as well both the fields and if and to do it like this and here also uh, we are going to pick this one as well okay now it's fine so so that if we will open the uh, admin uh, then also uh, then we are not going to show these fields okay so this is the simple case in which there is only one item one vendor item that we are showing the discount for that 
uh, we're good uh, we're showing the commission for that okay if we're going to check the another item this one uh, also this item will have some uh, okay it's it's the same okay 20 commission and 980 is the final amount that the vendor will get okay so uh, we can also add here the final amount not the vendor amount final amount uh, that will look uh, i think better okay uh, instead of vendor amount we are going to put here the final amount okay it looks fine so uh, we are going to check from the admin uh, main admin okay we are going to log in uh, we uh, are required to see that there, there is no error comes and commission fields will not come here okay so we are going to check the same order that is the order id 2 this is the order id i'm going to check this one see it is showing some kind of uh, error because uh, uh, here this is not the vendor id so that's why so we are going to add one more condition here uh, condition uh, here uh, like type condition like we have added uh, so the same condition we are going to add uh, like type equal to equal to vendor only then uh, we are going to check out this one get vendor commission okay so we are going to add this condition here as well okay uh, like this so let's see if there is any more error uh, then uh, yeah now there is no error and you can see vendor kind of thing is not coming here total price is coming but no vendor information is coming here because every vendor is having its own commission it means every vendor uh, we need to pay the separate commission so that's why here the uh, here we are not going to show any kind of vendor commission because it is not related with any vendor okay so once the vendor will log in then he will uh, he he able to see the commission that he, he is required to pay to the owner for the order items okay you can see there are two items in the order and we are just seeing the vendor is able to see only his item not the another one like like this is the case i am telling you that the vendor this item is belongs to the different vendor and this item is belong to the vendor that we have just added the commission okay so we will also check up with the, this vendor so we will handle uh, this case like the multiple vendors multiple items are there for, uh, belong to the multiple vendor okay so that case we are going to handle in the next video along with the uh, voucher discounts or okay coupon code discount we are going to handle so that we are going to handle in the next video. So please stay tuned for that. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.